Paul, a uh, disappointing result on Saturday, but obviously this last week you've looked towards tomorrow's game. How do you see this one going? Another tough test, obviously. Uh, they have been uh, in a good run of form at the minute. Brilliant 5-0 win, obviously, last week. So we know what sort of threat they can bring us. Uh, more than just disappointing last week, it was the more the... Uh, performance and the result that I was more disappointed with the fact that we didn't uh, look anything like ourselves as we've been in previous games so that that was a bigger disappointment for me so uh, we managed to get a game against Hibs closed door game which was relatively positive which for us was was important to get uh, straight back to things and that was pleasing how that game went against tough Premier League opposition and quite strong as well so it was good to get minutes into again boys that needed it so uh, tomorrow we know exactly what to expect they're well organised they're a threat for set pieces the bulk of their goals has, has came from set pieces so we know we'll have to be wary of that but I'd just like us to get to back to to a bit more like we've been the early part of the season which is the most important thing for me uh, and if we can do that then it will give us an opportunity to get a positive result and uh, I spoke to, to Ben Hall yesterday and um, he said that you went over the game and training and everything. Is there anything that you did differently this week um, as a result of the, the last few results? Not really. We've looked at training and we've looked at the amount we're asking of the players. So we've tweaked that a wee bit in terms of the latter stages, uh, obviously yesterday and today, and how much we're exactly uh, doing. And it's important that we're as fresh as we can be come three o'clock on a Saturday. And we, I've questioned myself if we're that come Saturday, if we're doing too much and the build up to the games. Uh, we've looked at that, we, we don't want to be too reactive to, to one bad performance. Yes, we've, we've not had a good run of results, but performance wise, there's been plenty of positives previous to Aloha. So, uh, like anyone, you, you try and fix what's not happening and, and, and where you're going wrong. So, so we've looked at the way me, Danny, Bobby, Hendo uh, are working and, and we've tried to tweak that a wee bit and we'll see if, if we benefit from that Saturday. No, no I'm not talking major changes, just uh, slight changes in terms of distances and things. And I imagine that quite a positive result against the Premiership side, despite it being a bounce game, would have lifted the team spirits a bit. Yeah, in fairness, we've tried to uh, implement a, a mentality where we won't get too carried away when we're winning games and, and we're getting positive feedback. Likewise, we won't uh, be too down when we're, when we're uh, struggling and getting negative feedback. So it's up to us to get the balance of that right and make sure no too much changes. So the boys came in Monday relatively bubbly. Yes, we, we lost a game, but we, we stressed the importance that it was more, like I said, the performance we're disappointed with, but it's probably been the first real uh, poor performance in terms of numbers individually and uh, collectively that obviously affects you as a team. And there were a few players out on Saturday um, you said that Cal Morrison was going to see a, a specialist, do you have an update on his situation? He's he seen the specialist weddings there, it's, uh, it will be uh, long term, how long we're still to find out, he's been given a, a short term programme to see how his knee reacts to that and then after that uh, programme we'll see then what kind of procedures he has to go through to get back to fitness, whether that's uh, uh, looking to see if he needs to go in and see the specialist again or if the rehab uh, process will help him going forward and that will be uh, as much as it is. So it, it's still an infancy, that injury, but it will be longer and would certainly like it to be. And a, Another player you mentioned um, was Arnaldo Krasniki. You said that uh, he was ill. Is he feeling better now? Fine. EK was just exactly that. Just uh, had a bit of flu symptoms. Obviously, in the current climate, your, your first thought is COVID, but he's tested regularly and he's got, he's got over that uh, through just simple paracetamol and ibuprofen and lime sips and what have you. And he's ready to go again. He's been back training all week. And just finally, I know we keep asking you this, but how close are we to seeing a, a Ryan Williamson return? Very close. He, he got minutes uh, Tuesday against Hibs. He got 45 minutes, which was pleasing. Uh, so he'll be in the squad tomorrow uh, and we'll look at that tonight and see what we're going to, go, going to do with that but he's, he's certainly available now for selection. Okay, Paul, thank you very much. Cheers, Adam. Thank you. All, all right.